Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series, and today we're fixing something a lot of you keep asking about. Latency Mon going red, DPC spikes, interrupt delays, audio crackles, stutters while gaming, all while your PC looks fine in Task Manager. Latency Mon doesn't lie. It shows timing problems that cause real input lag and micro stutters. So today, we're doing a full latency cleanup using a custom power plan, hidden Windows 11 timer settings, a few helpful registry adjustments, CMD commands to fix driver responsiveness, safe, tested, reversible tweaks. No dangerous kernel edits, nothing unstable. Everything you can safely revert. Let's fix latency mon for good. Step 1. Create a clean latency optimized power plan, CMD. Start by opening CMD as administrator. Once it's up, enter this. This instantly creates the ultimate performance power plan without you having to dig through any control panels. It's basically a clean base preset that removes most of Windows' automatic power saving behavior. To keep things organized, rename the plan so you know it's specifically for low latency tuning. After renaming, activate it right away so your system switches over to the new settings. Now we'll adjust the deeper CPU settings that Windows normally hides. These are important because they control parking, throttling, and how aggressively the system tries to save power, things that can introduce lag or slow the CPU at the worst possible moments. Warning, do this only if you have a good CPU cooling system. If not, just skip the next three commands. Once that's done, open your Power Options panel and you should see your new Latency Optimized plan listed. With these settings applied, your CPU stays fully available and responsive which helps reduce DPC spikes, input delay, and those random stutters that happen when Windows decides to save power at the wrong time. Step 2. Fixed Windows Timer Resolution Behavior Open the Run box and type Reg Edit. Press Enter. And once the Registry Editor opens, navigate through the folders on the left to When you're inside the kernel key, create two new DWORD 32-bit values. Right-click, New, DWORD 32-bit. These two entries tell Windows to keep the system timer more stable without forcing those super-aggressive 0.5 millisecond locks some apps use. You're basically giving Windows a gentle hint to smooth out timing behavior, which helps reduce jitter and micro-latency spikes without doing anything risky or heavy-handed. Step 3. Improve driver and interrupt responsiveness. Open the Run box and type RegEdit. Hit Enter. Then navigate through the folders on the left. Inside this key, create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Win32 Priority Separation equals 26. This setting nudges Windows to give a bit more attention to real-time interactions, things like mouse input, keyboard events, and general UI responsiveness. It's not a full real-time mode, but it does shift the CPU scheduler toward making the system feel more responsive during active use, especially under load. Revert, if you want to go back to default behavior, change the value back to 2. That's the normal Windows setting. CMD. Reset all system latency policies. Open CMD as administrator, then enter the following. These commands clean up any old boot configuration tweaks that may be forcing outdated timing modes. By enabling Enhanced TSC Sync Policy, you're telling Windows to rely on the CPU's modern, high-precision internal timing instead of older fallback methods that can introduce latency or inconsistency. Most newer CPUs are designed to run best this way, so this simply restores optimal behavior. All of these are completely safe since you're not overriding anything critical, just removing overrides. Revert if you ever want to undo the last change. After that, the system goes back to its default timing policy with no issues. Step 4. Network Latency Fix. Safe, no-risk settings. 
Network drivers are one of the biggest sources of latency spikes, and they often show up near the top of latency mon results. These tweaks help smooth out network responsiveness without touching anything dangerous or unstable. Open CMD as administrator and run. Disabling these features stops Windows from delaying certain TCP acknowledgements, which can make online games feel slightly snappier. You're basically removing two small wait-and-see behaviors that don't help much for real-time applications. Next, improve system-wide TCP responsiveness with CTCP is a more modern congestion algorithm that keeps latency lower when your connection is under load, like when there's background downloads or multiple apps talking online at the same time. It doesn't increase bandwidth, but it does help keep response times tighter and more consistent. Revert. If you ever want to undo the congestion tweak, use NetSH Int TCP Set Global Congregestion Provider default. That puts everything back to the standard Windows behavior instantly. Step 5. Restart latency stack and validate results. Before you start testing anything, reset your network and system latency layers so all the previous tweaks kick in cleanly. Open CMD as administrator and run. These commands wipe out cache DNS entries, refresh the WinSock network stack, and reset IP settings. Basically, you're clearing out anything that might still be holding old values or causing inconsistent behavior. After running them, restart your PC so every latency-related subsystem reloads with the new settings applied. Now validate everything inside Latency Mod. When you run Latency Mod again, you should notice a few clear improvements. ISR and DPC latency should drop. These are the main indicators of system responsiveness, and they should settle into a more stable range. Hard page faults should be way lower. This means the system isn't struggling to pull data from disk in real time anymore. NDIS.sys and ACPI.sys should stop spiking. These two are common troublemakers. If they're no longer flaring up, it means your OS scheduling and drivers are behaving much better. High execution time warnings should calm down. You want consistent, short execution times. Spikes here often mean something was hogging the CPU. You've just applied a full set of safe Windows timing, power, and network optimizations, the kind that actually show up in latency mod and eliminate input delay, audio crackles, and random micro stutters. This was another episode of the Tweaking Tools series. I hope you're doing well, and thank you for watching.